A local firefighter loved dearly by his community. For years, friends, co-workers, and family coming together to support Harrison Mosby in his fight against cancer. We love you, we're praying for you, and we are with you in your fight. It's really powerful to see him remain so strong um, through such a hard time. Now that the fight is over, a family's faith remaining strong as they mourn the loss of a husband and father. We're doing good. We're just holding on to um, the promises that God has um, set out before us, and we are um, just not losing our hope, hope for the future. Tonight, we sit down with Mallory Mosby. She shares with us her story of loss and hope. God's going to prepare us for what we're um, going to go through like in this life, and He did. He gave us peace and strength, and He kept providing for us when we um, when we were weak. You're watching 2 News Oklahoma at 6. Good evening, I'm Karen Larson. And I'm Naomi Kidd. Many of you are familiar with Tulsa firefighter Harrison Mosby. We've covered his battle with a rare form of cancer every step along the way for the last few years. Now, Harrison passed away January 22nd. And tonight in a Tunes exclusive, our Sharon Phillips sat down with his wife, Mallory, to talk about how his legacy lives on through his faith and his children. You know, Harrison demonstrated unwavering faith in his battle with cancer, and I had the incredible opportunity to sit down with his wife today to talk about how their children are processing their father's loss and his final act of love before he took his last breath. Mallory Mosby is a living example of self-sacrifice. Over the past few years, she cared for her husband Harrison in a painstaking journey of faith, love, and devotion, along with modifying their daily lifestyle. The Mosby's home also had to be modified to fit Harrison's needs. When we first moved into this house, we ended up having to knock down a wall um, so we could get his wheelchair around it. We moved to this house because our, at our old house, um, we had stairs going up it, and I just couldn't get him up by myself anymore because he was so weak. As Harrison endured multiple rounds of chemotherapy, radiation, and even major surgery, Mallory was a constant by his side, all the while caring for their two-year-old daughter, Collins, and nine-month-old baby, Grace Lee. I took care of him, but God, God gave me that strength to care for him and provide for him. Mallory says her husband's faith never wavered, giving her the strength she needed to push forward. Shortly after his death, she says their daughter, Collins, received a little kiss from heaven. A couple of days after Harrison passed, we were outside um, on her little playground. And we have little binoculars up there. And she looked up in the little binoculars and she kind of like glanced and then like pulled back and then went back and like looked again. And she said, Mama, there's Dada. And she said, he's with two angels. Mallory says she has never spoken about angels with Collins because she didn't want her to get them confused with Jesus. We're called to have a childlike faith and seeing that through her eyes and seeing Jesus move and touch her heart to let her know that dad is okay. Um, it's unreal. Even their nine month old Grace Lee seemed to understand her father's endless faith. Mallory tells me that whenever Harrison would pray, her daughter Grace Lee would be in the background babbling almost as if to pray along with him. Even during his final moments, Harrison used his very last breath to whisper a prayer over his children. Just hearing him wake up and pray, even though he's suffering and he was doing everything he could to fight for his life, but yet he's still praising God. And with that final act of love, Harrison Mosby left this earth and entered into the arms of Jesus. Well done, thy good and faithful servant. Powerful testimony of their faith. Absolutely, and those final acts of praying for his little girls, and even that moment where his daughter got a chance to to just look up and have a moment with her father. Incredible. It was. It, it truly was. And you know, I, just to hear her talk about that. And here's a little girl who didn't know anything about angels, and she looks through the binoculars, and then kind of rears back, and then looks through again, and then tells her mother that she sees her father with two angels. And that was such, not only a kiss 
from heaven for her, but also for her mother. And it was just absolutely beautiful. I mean, and, and I can tell you all too, you know, when we go to do these interviews, um, you never know what, what you're gonna get. And I can tell you when we walked into the Mosby home, it was the most peaceful and most serene atmosphere. Like we left, we were blessed after this interview with, with Mallory and her children. And um, it was just an incredible, incredible day. Now, does she have family help with everything right now? She's still managing so much. She is. Um, th she has a. She works as a dental hygienist, and so thankfully her office is being so good with her to let her have this time off and do what she needs to do with her family. And um, her her family is nearby, and so is his. So they're able to help out with the kids, and uh, she's just been so thankful for the community support and also the family to just surround them and cover them during this time. Absolutely. Sharon, thanks for talking with us, and we're so glad that we got a chance to hear from her, especially after all she's been through. Thank mm -hmm. you. And throughout this fight, community members from all over Northeast Oklahoma have come together to support Harrison and Mallory and their children. If you'd like to give to the Mosby family, we have a link to their GoFundMe. It's on our website, kjrh.com.